Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa, Chairperson of the African Union, Excellencies, members of the African Union Bureau, and Chairperson of the Regional Economic uh, Communities, Excellency Musa Faki, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Special Envoys, Distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening, and thank you, Chairperson, for giving us uh, <coughs> this opportunity again and for giving me the floor. Thank you for once again inviting the regional economic uh, communities to join the African Union Bureau to deliberate on the challenges facing our continent in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. As Dr. Nkenga song updated, and uh, it was clear, COVID continues to spread in Africa, including in the East African community. Strengthening cooperation within and between regions is therefore of the highest importance. The successful launch of the African Medical Supplies Platform shows how much can be achieved by working together and the dedication of the actors is also clear. We have already started to see real benefits from this effort and I commend the African Union Commission, along with Strive Masiwa and his team, for the excellent work. I would like to request the chairperson to consider appointing one of the heads of state to work closely with the Strive, who is already on the task to focus on ensuring that Africa obtains the vaccine once it is available. I think the details and importance of that uh, have already been uh, presented by many speakers. I won't go deeper into details, but I was thinking if chairperson, either one of the members of the Bureau or any head of state you wish to pursue uh, that particular task, uh, it will be helpful uh, to exactly achieve what was talked about. This will avoid Africa missing out on it, on the vaccine, or not getting sufficient quantities. Our special envoys have also made significant progress with key partners on an innovative framework for providing the necessary fiscal space for Africa to fight the pandemic and support our economies. Continuing to speak with one voice will help ensure that Africa's interests are taken into account both now and in the future. I would like to close by highlighting the importance of advancing the domestic health financing agenda that was put in place by the Assembly and which I have the honor of championing. This is the moment to look closely at our health budgets and see where we can improve both the quantity and the quality of spending. Ultimately, the best defense against the COVID pandemic as well as the future health emergencies, is a strong, resilient, and sustainable health system. Chairperson, Excellencies, thank you for your attention. <clears throat>